Hi everyone. I'm glad to present our newest work called Newer Kernel Surface Reconstruction, or NKSR. This work is selected as a highlight paper in CVPR 2023. My name is Jiahui Huang, and this is joint work with John Goshish, Mata Osman, Oli Tenney, Sonia Fittler, and Francis Williams at NVIDIA. In this paper, our focus is on the challenging task of reconstructing surfaces from point clouds. More precisely, we aim to construct a dense output mesh from an input point cloud that may be large scale, noisy, and incomplete. This task has numerous practical applications in various fields, such as visualization, like novel view synthesis or geometric inspection, inspections, simulation, like collision detection or fluid simulation, as well as downstream tasks like digitalization and intrinsic decomposition. Surface reconstruction is a long-standing yet challenging problem that has been approached using various methods in previous works. One classical method called Poisson surface reconstruction formulates an energy problem that minimizes the surface fitting error and uses an accurate fitting solver to compute the underlying solution. However, this approach is not robust against noise. Recent advances in deep learning techniques have enabled the use of data-driven priors. For example, Convolutional occupancy networks use a feed-forward network to directly infer implicit surface values. However, this method may produce over-smooth results that do not accurately represent the input points. To address these limitations, the newer kernel field method, published in last year's CVPR, combines both approaches by using networks to learn data-dependent kernels and employing the fitting solver to accurately interpolate the input points. In comparison to all previous approaches, we build upon the novel formulation of neural kernel field, or NKF, and make significant enhancements to it. Our proposed method enables us to reconstruct a much smoother geometry while also achieving significantly better accuracy. Let's take a closer look at the key idea behind neural kernel field and the main problem it faces. As we discussed earlier, NKF elegantly combines data-driven smooth interpolation priors with an accurate surface fitting solver. In NKF, the surface is represented using an implicit function that is parameterized by the kernel field. The kernel field itself is learned using neural networks, while the kernel's coefficients are solved via kernel-rich regression. This approach provides accurate fitting results as well as state-of-the-art generalization. However, NKF faces two main problems. Firstly, it involves a dense linear solve that can be computationally expensive and does not scale well to large inputs. Secondly, it struggles with noise robustness due to the exact positional constraint it imposes. To address these challenges, in this work, we introduce NKSR, a fast, scalable, and robust surface reconstruction algorithm that achieves state-of-the-art performance. Now let's give a brief introduction to the kernel methods. Here, we represent the target surface that we want to reconstruct as an implicit function this function is a summation of kernel basis functions as shown in the middle column. The kernel method aims to minimize the reproducing kernel Hilbert space or RKHS norm of the function, subject to the constraints of input point positions. This essentially involves solving a kernel rich regression problem that gives the coefficients of the kernel basis via a single linear solve. As the inductive bias of the implicit function is controlled by the kernels, we make it data dependent and learn the inductive bias from a large scale training corpus using neural networks. Examples of the learned kernel basis, which reflect geometric priors, can be seen in the lower right corner of the slide. Our key contributions address both main problems of NKF. First, to improve scalability, instead of a dense kernel with support over the entire domain, we build sparse voxels and modulate the kernel basis functions with a Bezier mask function defined over the voxels as shown here in the top right figure. We use the simplest form of data-dependent kernel defined by the dot product of the learned features at x and x prime, as shown in the key theta equation. This dot product formulation allows for greater flexibility in the shape of the kernel basis function. Additionally, we build a hierarchy of these kernels, where different levels capture varying geometric details, as illustrated in the lower right figure. Second, to enhance noise robustness, in addition to the positional constraints, we introduce a novel gradient-based kernel formulation. This formulation requires the gradient of the implicit function to match the normal constraints predicted by neural networks. While the normal constraints allow for a smoother implicit function, 
surface details are incorporated into the system using the complementary positional information. This problem can be efficiently transformed into a single linear solve, and the left-hand side matrix is sparse due to the range-limited interaction between kernels. We employ a highly efficient preconditioned conjugate gradient solver to obtain the coefficient alpha in practice. The full pipeline goes as follows. Note that here, we only describe the inference time logic because the entire pipeline is fully differentiable and can be trained end to end. Taking the input points and their normals, we feed them into a sparse convolutional neural network, whose decoder branch contains a novel structure prediction branch that outputs adaptive sparse voxel grids. The sparse voxel grids contain multiple hierarchies of voxels with different sizes. For each voxel, we predict a latent feature that is used for kernel computation at an arbitrary position within the grid. To compute the point feature for kernel computation, we interpolate from the voxel centers. This allows us to effectively compute kernel-based implicit functions at arbitrary points within the grid. We then build a sparse linear system to minimize the surface fitting error according to the gradient-based kernel formulation, as described earlier, and solve it using a sparse solver. Taking the soft coefficient alpha, as well as the predicted kernel field, we evaluate the implicit function that defines the geometry. Finally, the triangular mesh could be extracted by running isosurfacing algorithm over the implicit field. The above full pipeline, including the linear soft, is fully differentiable and supervised in an end-to-end -end manner using the criteria that combines on-surface loss, near-surface TSDF loss, normal loss, empty space loss, as well as surface area minimization loss. In order to support open surfaces as often observed in outdoor scenarios, an additional MOP is used to predict whether the given region should be masked out. Such an MOP-based masking module can be flexibly adapted to support other applications by predicting other attributes such as textures and in layer probabilities for outlier removal. We then show our results. For object-level dataset, like ABC dataset and Thinny 10 k dataset, our model is able to outperform all previous baselines in terms of both chamfer distance and F-score. Note that to make our model widely applicable, we additionally introduce a kitchen sink model, which is trained on the mixture of various datasets including ShapeNet, Matterport 3D, and Carla. The kitchen sink model is able to perform decently on object-level datasets, as well as other datasets that I will show later demonstrating the good generalization of NKSR. We further demonstrate the generalization capabilities of our method through room-level datasets. In this experiment, the model is trained only on the ShapeNet dataset, yet it achieves some of the highest scores on the ScanNet and Matterport 3D datasets. This is partially due to the fact that we explicitly minimize the surface fitting error during the feedforward process with an efficient linear solve. Such test time optimization is highly generalizable and enables our method to achieve strong performance on previously unseen datasets. To demonstrate the scalability of our method, we synthesized the first dataset for benchmarking large-scale surface reconstruction using the Carlar simulator. Our results show that NKSR is not only able to achieve the highest surface accuracy, but is also very efficient, taking only seconds to reconstruct a large region. These demonstrate the effectiveness of our approach for large-scale surface reconstruction tasks in real-world scenarios. Here is a direct generalization result to Waymo open dataset. Note that during training time, the model has never seen real outdoor AV data. Here are more qualitative results of the color dataset.
In conclusion, our paper presents neural kernel surface reconstruction, an accurate and scalable surface reconstruction algorithm that uses a neural kernel field representation and achieves state-of-the-art quality and efficiency while demonstrating good generalization to unseen data. Future works include supporting more surface attributes such as materials, exploring more expressive kernel models to improve the power of representation for more detailed reconstruction and generalization, and reducing the memory footprint and adding out-of-core strategies for Earth-scale 3D reconstructions. These improvements will allow for even more versatile and powerful applications of our approach in a wide range of real-world scenarios. Thanks for listening.